Welcome to Morning Prayer this morning, Friday the 22nd of May. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God. To you be praise and glory for ever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your Spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, blessed be God for ever. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. One of the appointed psalms for this morning is Psalm 88. Lord, you are the God who saves me. Day and night I cry out to you. May my prayer come before you. Turn your ear to my cry. I am overwhelmed with troubles, and my life draws near to death. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am like one without strength. I am set apart with the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, who are cut off from your care. You have put me in the lowest pit, in the darkest depths. Your wrath lies heavily on me. You have overwhelmed me with all your waves. You have taken from me my closest friends and have made me repulsive to them. I am confined and cannot escape. My eyes are dim with grief. I call to you, Lord, every day. I spread out my hands to you. Do you show your wonders to the dead? 
Do their spirits rise up and praise you? Is your love declared in the grave, your faithfulness in destruction? Are your wonders known in the place of darkness, or your righteous deeds in the land of oblivion? But I cry to you for help, Lord. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Why, Lord, do you reject me and hide your face from me? From my youth I have suffered and been close to death. I have borne your terrors and am in despair. Your wrath has swept over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. All day long they surround me like a flood. They have completely engulfed me. You have taken from me my friend and neighbour. Darkness is my closest friend. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading appointed for this morning is from Numbers chapter 20, verses 1 to 13. If you would like to read it for yourselves, but we are going to continue now with the New Testament reading for today, which is from Luke chapter 7, starting at verse 11. Soon afterward, Jesus went into a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went along with him. As he approached the town gate, a dead person was being carried out, the only son of his mother. and She was a widow, and a large crowd from the town was with her. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her, and he said, don't cry. Then he went up and touched the bier that they were carrying him on, and the bearers stood still. He said, Young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. They were all filled with awe, and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us, they said. God has come to help his people. This news about Jesus spread throughout Judea and the surrounding country. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ has gone up on high, and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father, we bring to you this morning all of those in our hospitals or our care homes who are suffering from this coronavirus. We bring to you those who have left the hospital but who are still finding it very slow getting their strength back and learning and being able to move around again. We bring before you all of the carers, all of the hospital staff, those working in our care homes, and all of the families of those who are recuperating at home. We bring you the bereaved, those who, because of restrictions, haven't had a chance to say goodbye. We bring to you the funeral directors, the crematorium assistants. We continue to bring those in government who are working hard to put in place systems to get the country back up and running again. We bring to you those who prepare to open up the schools in the next few weeks for the first pupils to return. We pray for those out on the roads providing transport for others so that they can get back to work, the bus drivers and the taxi drivers. We continue to pray for all of those who are alone, those who are lonely, those who are struggling with the isolation as they work through their 12 weeks of staying inside, longing for the day when they can come out and meet up with family and friends again. We bring to you our own families and friends who we miss and who we long to see. And we bring to you as well this morning ourselves. As we continue trying to make sense of what's happening in the world around us, we ask for you to keep us safe. Thank you, Father. And the collect for today. Risen Christ, by the lakeside you renewed your call to your disciples. Help your church to obey your command and draw the nations to the fire of your love to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a wonderful day. See you soon. Goodbye. Hello, my name's Wayne. I'm one of the leadership team here in the parish of Rayleigh. With everyone so isolated at the moment, we thought it would be good to connect with others in the community online. And so we'll be running a course where everyone watches a short film episode about questions around the Christian faith and then chats about it together online. It's called Alpha. Alpha is a great opportunity to explore the big questions of life and to examine the claims of Christianity in a fun, non-pressurised environment. Our online Alpha is starting on Wednesday, June the 10th at 7.30 in the evening and it runs weekly after that. We'll be using a Zoom to run the course and each of the evening sessions will last no more than 90 minutes. So who is Alpha for? Well, Alpha is for anyone who wants to find out more about the Christian faith and what its relevance is to our daily lives. It's a safe environment in which to look together at the really important questions about who we are and why we are here. You may never have stepped inside the door of a church or you may have been involved with the church all of your life. Either way, Alpha is for you. Or maybe you have a friend or a family member who you'd like to invite to join you on Alpha. So why not do that and come along with them? To register for our online Alpha that starts on Wednesday, June the 10th, all you need to do is send an email to Tracy Marlow at this address, tracy.marlow at parishofrayleigh.org.uk. That's all for now. So let me just leave you with a brief testimony from someone who's completed Alpha recently and then a short trailer that will give you the flavour of the course. Hello everyone. I can thoroughly recommend the Alpha course. I really enjoyed it and it answers a lot of questions for me about the Bible and about Jesus. I made some really good friends and we've remained friends ever since and it has been four years since I've done it and it has changed my life. Every day we ask so many questions. What should I wear? What's the weather going to be like? How am I going to fit everything in? But then there are those bigger questions like why am I here? Where am I heading? Is there more to life than this? I had arrived at an answer to the most important issue that we humans ever deal with. Is there a God? And I had arrived there without ever really looking at the evidence. And I was supposed to be a scientist. At 28, uh, I had gotten many of the things that I thought I wanted. You know, my girlfriend was on the cover of magazines, I had a Beamer, and I was so unhappy. It 
was a realization maybe that I would, I would never find happiness where I was looking for it. I think for so many years, you know, I always just strive to be strong in myself. All I needed was me and my buddies and, you know, we'd be like invincible. But the truth is, none of us are. And I found purpose, I found meaning, I found hope. God took something so broken and made it a beautiful art piece. Alpha is a place where you can be yourself. You can say what you think and challenge everything. No question is too complex or too simple. And what your point of view is, is as important as anyone else's. We are going on a journey together, an adventure to explore the questions of life, faith, and meaning.